you've probably already used Google a lot in your personal life, but I'm going to show you some advanced searching techniques you can use to find more scholarly information. First, I'm going to go over different types of websites. Look at a web address like babysignlanguage.com. That .com tells you the website is a commercial site. If we look around the site, we can see that they are selling a product. Some .com sites are also personal websites. Be especially aware of the purpose of a .com site. .org sites are nonprofit organizations. For example, asha.org. These sites can be useful when you're looking for information, but be careful to look for things like bias since an organization has its own agenda, which may influence the type of information they share. .edu sites are education sites like kenyattacollege.edu. These can be excellent sources of academic information, but be careful, student papers and projects are often housed on college and university websites. Just because you're using a .edu site doesn't mean the information is written by an academic or professor. Be aware of the author when looking at a .edu site. .gov sites are government websites. Sites like census.gov are great for finding statistical information. And government websites are also really good for medical information. You can search for specific types of websites in Google. Type in your search terms. Then type site colon you can, you can do either .edu, .gov, .com, .org, whichever you like. All right. All your results will be from these types of websites. Okay, let's review. So different types of websites. .com are commercial websites. .org are nonprofit organizations. .edu are education websites. And .gov are government websites. Now, no matter what type of website you use, you want to evaluate the information you find on it. A good test to use is the CRAAP test, where you look at the currency, relevance, authority, accuracy and purpose of your website. So currency is the timeliness of the information. Look at when was the information published or posted? Has it been revised or updated? Does your topic require current information or will older sources work as well? Relevance. Relevance is the importance of the information for your needs. Does the information relate to your topic or answer your question? Who is the intended audience? Is the information at an appropriate level? And so on and so forth. Want to look at authority as well, which is the source of the information. Who is the author, publisher, source, or sponsor? What are the author's credentials or organization affiliations? Why is the author qualified to write on this topic? Accuracy, the reliability, truthfulness, and correctness of the content. Where does this information come from? Is the information supported by evidence? Can you verify this information in another source from personal knowledge? Does the language or tone seem unbiased and free of emotion? And finally, there's purpose, the reason the information exists. What is the purpose of the information? Is it to inform, teach, sell, entertain, or persuade? Do the authors or sponsors have their intentions or purpose clear? Is the information fact, opinion, or, prop or propaganda? So whenever you are doing your research and you find a resource you like, always keep these things in mind.